Hi, I'm Gordon from Camera Labs and this is Sony's a7 III full frame mirrorless camera. In this quick video I'm going to demonstrate and compare two of its shutter modes, the traditional mechanical shutter and the silent mode which uses a fully electronic shutter. In both cases I selected the top burst speed of 10 frames per second and the same shutter speed of 1 over 1000. Keep an eye on the frame counter in the top left corner of the screen as well as the vertical white bar towards the left side of the screen which shrinks to indicate how much buffer is remaining. First up, the mechanical shutter using the default electronic first curtain option. I'd say that's noticeably louder than the faint clicks of recent Fujifilm, Olympus and Panasonic mirrorless bodies, but switch the a7 III into silent mode and it'll make no noise at all. So, if you're using the 10 frames per second mode with no blackout, you really need to keep an eye on the vertical bar and frame counter on the side of the screen to know you're even shooting. Impressively, the a7 III, like the a7R III, can shoot at the top 10 frames per second speed with the electronic shutter while also continuously auto-focusing, and if you have uncompressed RAW selected, it'll also use the 14-bit depth. But the relatively slow sensor readout of the a7 III and a7R III means they can still be skewing artifacts to worry about and also banding under some artificial lights. If you're panning quickly or shooting subjects in fast motion with the electronic shutter, you'll almost certainly see some undesirable artifacts. To illustrate this, I photographed a helicopter shortly after landing with the a7 III at the same shutter speed using the mechanical shutter on the left and the electronic shutter on the right. See how the rotor blades have become bent on the electronic shutter version. But if the subject is fairly still or static, the electronic shutter can work just fine and it's ideal in quiet environments. I for one certainly look forward to weddings and speeches without the constant interruption of loud shutters and some professional photographers can actually charge more for the ability to shoot events silently. Just use this mode with caution. As always head over to Cameralabs.com for my full reviews and to be the first to see my latest camera videos subscribe right here on YouTube. If you're interested in the Sony a7 III also check out my first looks review which goes over all of the highlights. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.